Welcome back to another explanation video. Uh, this video will be about stats. Basically, I'll be talking about how do stats work. And I'm going to be putting that into practice. And I'm going to be showing you how they scale linearly or like differently. I don't know. It's just I'm just going to show how stats work. How do they scale? And this is so that you guys can make your own build. You don't have to rely on anyone else's build. You can make your own build from this video. So, hope you guys on this video and let's begin. So, power is interesting. Power scales linearly with stats. So, it, it's something like this. Linearly means that it's it's addition. So, one power equals to one damage most of the time. It still scales linearly among other things, but in other cases, it scales more or in some cases it scales less. But nonetheless, it is a very straight line when you add power to your build. So if you have 10 power, 20 power, 50 power, that will scale evenly across many builds. However, the amount that it scales by is different so for light because light has a lower damage multiplier it would actually scale less so with the amount of power you would have the amount of power you like the amount of damage you get it would be considered as this line because it scales less and since earth has a higher damage multiplier the amount of po damage you get from more power is more so it would be this line and the things that are well more towards one in the sense they'll be towards the middle line so they can reach basically in between a middle ground between the two and not only that power scales differently across moves so the blast move is the default you can say the standard of, of seeing how much it scales by for example for beam it'll be less and other things it may be less or on other things it can be more so power affects every spell but it affects every spell differently and it affects every type of ability differently what i mean what type of ability is like the different types of magics or fighting styles or weapons so power is very simple but it stay it scales differently across other other attacks and other magics and everything so it's very difficult to track but it is linearly uh, it scales linearly so that's power so here's a test of using a hundred percent blast with zero power it does 163 damage and here's a test of it with 20 percent size 202 damage then we have 50 power it does 219 damage at 100 percent and then for uh, 20 percent it does 272 damage and then last but not least, we have 100 power. So this is 100%. Uh, does 276. And then for 20%, it does 260 damage. So just from that, you're able to deduce that from it goes from 163 damage to around 273. So because fire has a 1.1 damage multiplier, so one power gives 1.1 damage for blast. So defense is an interesting one. Defense scales linearly as well, like power. It is a one. Oh, pfft. it is a one to one ratio with health. So it it scales like one defense is equal to one health. But an interesting thing is that this is when you have zero vitality. So it, if you have any sort of build, one defense equal to one health. And so if you have 532 defense, that will, that you will have 1.5k HP. Your base health is 962, I mean 968. So if you had, if you have 532 defense, you'll have 1.5k HP. If you have 10, 1032 defense, you'll have 2000 HP. And this is when you have zero vitality. In the next update, vitality will make defense scaling more. What I mean by that is one defense will give more HP if you have vitality. I'm not exactly sure what's the exact scaling, but 
in this graph that would make vitality builds have more uh like more defense i mean more hp while having less defense or having the same amount of defense and defense actually has no damage resistance only vitality gives damage resistance so if you have a thousand defense or two thousand defense but you have zero vitality you have no damage reduction you will still get get hit with a hundred damage even if you have a two thousand defense or zero defense and for vitality if you have let's say 20 percent vitality of the total stats in the game so right now the total stats in the game are 250 you have 20 percent which is 50 vitality you will get 10 percent damage reduction so you get the amount of the total percentage of vitality that divide by half is your damage reduction so if you have a build with a hundred percent vitality you will get 50 percent damage reduction that's a scaling of it that's going to be in the future it may be change it may or may not change in the future as well but that's how it is right now and that's pretty interesting so defense is pretty simple basically it just it's a one-to-one -one ratio so it's pretty easy, easily easily like you can easily like use it in a build i like to prefer prefer having around a thousand five hundred hp that's like my minimum amount of health that i can play with uh you can go more become more tanky or you can go less it's a bit more risky but you'll get more damage out of it so you can make your build towards a more glass cannon type build i like to have it even so like i'll have good damage and also good defense so i can play fairly so i would say that 1500 hp is pretty good and defense is pretty simple to handle so shouldn't be that difficult for you guys to make your own builds with it so here i'll be showing you exactly that so i have no vitality this is zero defense. I take 102 damage from a boxing M1. So that's the base amount of damage that I get with zero defense and with zero vitality. Then this is with 2000 HP, so 1032 defense. I have zero vitality again. I take 102 damage again. So defense gives zero damage reduction basically. Then we have another one, which is interesting, is attack size. Attack size, I'm not actually sure how it works. <laughs> like, uh, this is goofy. But what I mean by that is attack size is very difficult to track because it depends on the magic. And this is, the, this is similar to how power works. So if you have a magic with like, like normal like size 1, you can say it's linear however the difference is like very little so attack size even though if you have like wait no 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 no, no it's the wrong way if you have a hundred if you have a hundred attack size the difference is like it's not much and if you have less than if you have less than that it's basically nothing so like if you have less than that so it's just it's just basically nothing if you have 22 25 or 25 or 50 attacks size only makes a difference when you have like a hundred and the interesting thing about attack size it's it's basically catered towards big magics so for example for earth it would it's a huge difference like a hundred attack size and zero attack size it's a huge difference for earth then same for like magma or even like um water you can say as well water is pretty big so it really depends on the magic or the fighting style so for example sailor fist as well would be it would have a huge difference and for magics that have small attack size so for example lightning or like light basically if you have a hundred or even 200 attack size it would have almost no difference so Depending on what you use, you can use attack size, and yeah, it, just, it just basically just fully depends on what you use. So attack size is kind of like if you need, it's like you if if you want to have it, you can take it, but most of the time attack size isn't really needed. But yeah, that's that's it's attack size is a very very weird magic. It's a very weird stat to track. So 
I could I wasn't able to get much of a difference between when using fire. So here we have fire explosion side by side. That's the way you can see it's the clearest. And you can see with the right side having 100 attack size, it is bigger. Uh, but blast and yeah, blast is barely a difference. The magic circle is bigger. But yeah, that's about it. Intensity is interesting. Intensity affects a lot of things. One, it affects a lot of the stats, a lot of, a lot of like niche stats that, that are in the game. So, for example, let's talk about knockback. Knockback is affected by intensity. And knockback is different on different magics. It's, there's no specific stat for it. But let's say for wind, if you have, well, intensity with wind, it's a huge difference. You get a huge amount of knockback from it. You can get literally knocked up to the sky or to like the sky islands actually if you have a lot of intensity. And this intensity also goes really well with damage over time magics or skills. Damage over time means DOT. So it damage that is done after you've hit an attack. And I've tested it with fire and it's interesting. So fire with zero intensity does 55 damage. 11 damage over five ticks five ticks meaning it does five damage i mean to 11 damage per tick so like one second what 11 damage two second 11 damage three to seven 11 damage and so on in total it does 55 damage with 100 percent size and yeah that's just 55 damage that it does then at 100 intensity it does 120 something damage 120? Yeah, 120 damage. So, not only did it double it, it it more than doubled the base attack, like, attack that you get from intensity. And in intensity, not only does it affect the DOT, not only does it affect knockback, it also affects the skill cooldown of ultimates. And the amount of time your aura can stay. So intensity has a lot of more hidden aspects to it. Like it, it affects a lot of the niche stats, but it's really interesting. And the intensity is more useful for DOT based magics. For example, acid or poison. Those two, they need intensity for them to work because that they do most of the damage with intensity. So having more intensity, you just do way more damage. And yeah, intensity is very interesting. Same goes for like if you use uh, for example, froze. If you use ice with intensity, the frozen status effects stays for longer. So, intensity is very useful for some magics that use in that have an intensity scaling. It's basically useless to things that have nothing. For example, earth. Earth has bleeding, but it's if you do thirty-three percent of the dam of the target's damage. And 9 times out of 10, that doesn't happen. And basically, there's no point of having intensity in an Earth Mage. And same for, like, you can say, Sailor Fist. Sailor Fist it doesn't deal anything. It just does water damage. It does just, it just, it just deal. There's no point for intensity uh, with that. So, yeah, intensity is very interesting. But a lot of builds need it. And most builds do not require it at all. So, build it if you want to. Now, we're going to talk about... A very, very powerful stat, which is attack speed. Attack speed is interesting. It's, it's, it's the stat, like the stat, the way it works is like a curve. So it's somewhat like this. If I can. Uh, wait. Yeah. So, yeah, this is, it's something like this. Attack speed is interesting, where if you have more than 50, you will see a huge difference. But if you have less than 50, you will see barely any difference. Which is interesting. If you have like 30, 40, like that, you can see a good difference between 0. But if you have the difference between 50 and 60 is gigantic. And the difference between 70 and 60 is gigantic. And the difference between 190 is ginormous, basically. And attack speed affects your spell 
like casting speed so how fast you cast a spell it affects your projectile speed so how fast your your if you use range attacks how fast they go or if you use like uh the crash how fast that happens and everything basically how fast the skill happens and the third thing which it only does on some things is the cooldown on your abilities uh, this is more towards uh, weapons i think i'm not entirely sure if it does do with like magic and fighting styles i'm not entirely sure but it does affect some of them just not all of them i think it's mostly for weapons only some web uh, weapon abilities are affected if you have the swift enchant on them and they reduce the cooldown on them okay. so that's interesting and overall attack speed again scales with magics and fighting styles as well so let's say if you use it light for light it's already pretty fast but if you use attack speed it'll just go through the roof <laughs> like literally that's how fast it will be same thing for thermal if you use attack speed with it it'll be insanely fast but if you try to use magma there won't be any difference if even if you have a hundred attack speed there's no point in getting attack speed in earth magma metal there's no point because it's a slow magic already it'll stay slow so you can use attack speed for casting or the cooldown but again that won't really matter much for those magics and attack speed i would say is also a very important thing to have personally for me i like being very fast and uh, I'm, uh, I would trade damage for speed because if you do just a little bit of damage, but if you're way faster, you can deal more damage in the same amount of time, even though you do less damage per hit. But you'll do more hits in total that will make you have more damage. So it's also just really fun. So here I'll, I'm showing the casting speed difference between 0, 25, 50 and a hundred attack speed from left to right so left is zero and right is hundred and here i'm showing the the projectile speed for again zero and 25 50 and 100 this difference is so little but it is there and last but not least we have agility agility is also very interesting so attack speed here is as you can see it the difference between it is that uh at lower lower stats it doesn't do much but at higher stats it does huge amounts with agility it's a complete opposite so with uh with like the first 30 stats it does a huge difference but when you go to the higher stats, it doesn't do much, if anything, really. So it's it's interesting because I tested it out, and the difference between zero and twenty-five is the is it's the most. But then the difference between twenty-five and fifty is little, and the difference between fifty and eighty is almost nothing, and the difference between eighty and hundred is they're basically the same. So agility affects everything movement related it affects dashing walk speed running speed jumping t jumping leap spells for attack styles or for for yeah for fighting styles and magics and it also affects crash speed i mean the crash distance not speed crash distance for a fighting styles it affects how far the crash will be in the new update like the dark sea update It'll there will be something new as well, which is dodge reflexes. And dodge reflex, I've watched the video, it's actually so insane. And the fact that agility you need you need a lot of agility to like make it overpowered that makes you want to get more agility now. So that will be very interesting to see. And as of right now, agility isn't really required. It only affects mostly fighting styles. It only benefits fighting styles really at this point. It doesn't really affect anything else. But if you want to be a track star, like my track star video, where I had like 260 or 280 attack speed, I mean agility, you can just, you know, walk around, like just fly around the map. It's really fun. 
but I wouldn't recommend making your whole build around it. But yeah, agility is cool, and it's basically getting a gigantic buff next update. So I would say consider having it. And like I said before, it it only makes a difference with the lower stat levels, and with the more higher up you go, the less difference it makes. So cater your build around it, or cater or add agility to your build. So it's up to you really. And having low amounts of agility is good. But having a lot of it, there's no, there's no real point to it. So here's some testing with 0, 25, 50, and 100 agility. And this is from top left to bottom right. So top left is 0, bottom bottom right is 100, uh, top right is 25, and bottom left is 50. And basically here you can see by jump dashing, what's the difference between them. And you can see that between 0 and 25, it's the largest difference. But then it gets less and less as time goes on so i hope you guys enjoyed this video now you guys know how to how to how to use stats and like how they work and i've shown some proof of it as well so in practice and yeah i hope you guys in this video uh leave a leave a comment on if if you guys have anything else to explain about stats because i'll be making sure to read through all of them i'll try to make changes if i can i'll put them in the description or whatever put a comment and yeah Feel free to agree, to disagree, or to agree with this. It is just my experimentations and how I've seen them when I try to use them. And yeah, so I'll see you guys in the next one. And bye. Oh, hold on. And bye.